hello and welcome to my channel i'm going to be showing you how i made this fascinator this fascinator had a lot of issues first of all i didn't shoot the intro video secondly i didn't remember to take a clear picture of it when i was done that won't stop me from giving you the best so i'm going to be listing all the items i use in the description just manage this video because that's the best i could get of the fascinator in use so what i'm doing right here is that i'm picking a bonin this bonin is the one they use for corset blouses so i'm putting it inside a bias tape i'm using the glue gun to glue it down if you don't want to use a glue gun you could use any fabric gum you choose and it work So I've covered the whole thing up right now and I'm going to be trimming off the excesses or the unused bias tape with the scissors. Next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to be covering the inner part of this particular um, bonnet strip. So I'm going to be using this gold strip to cover inside of it so that it gives us a neat finishing and also serve as embellishment. So I'll go ahead and just cover it all the way down. But what I did right here at the beginning was that I folded the gold tips just a little bit so that the edges would be neat and the gold um strip doesn't reel off so i'm going to be doing this all the way to the, the end of the boning strip where we covered with the bias tape and then when i'm done i'll go ahead to create whatever design i intend to create out of this strip it's pretty easy and straightforward it's, once you get the basics then you can create just any design you want but of course we're making one design but in between i'll probably show you a few other designs so that you'll be able to um play around it next time you want to work i'll cut that remaining part off and then we're going to proceed straight to the design so i'm not going to be saying too much <laughs> on how i created the design just pay attention to how it is done i'll try not to be very fast so that's one design right there and then there are just several other designs that can be created so just pay attention and i'll probably see you when the tutorial is almost coming to an end <laughs> This is another type right here. So um, you could also try it as well. Put it on top of the hat. And that's what it looks like. I think I kind of like it. It's cute. Um, but I'll go ahead to create another design. By the time I create all this design, I'll then make up my mind on which one I want. Which I'm not so sure what I want to do right now. But I'm going to keep experimenting until I achieve what I want. Of course, you guys saw the finished talk at the beginning. But usually when, I'm, when I am working on these pieces while i'm going i'm not so sure i have something in mind to do but i end up doing something else because i'll keep tweaking it and tweaking it and tweaking it you know what i mean right so this here is another design again i, I kind of really like this but if i wanted to make it i probably made it more than three layers you know so at this point you need to make the strip longer you get me now right so i'm going to be creating another design right here and this is the design i'm going to be sticking with so that's why you can see me gum it because it's my last bus stop i'm not gonna be doing another try and error <laughs>
Now, the reason I tied after eating the gum is to ensure maximum security because you don't get to a point when you're using it and it pulls out. It won't be nice. So I had to use a biosafe to wrap it very tightly. Kindly subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below, ask any question you want and let me know if you like it or not. Now it is done. The next thing I'm going to be doing right here is to introduce my heart block. So I already molded this fascinator block, but there are other um fascinator blocks you can use you can use an already made one or you can just fix a hairband on that um, embellishment on its own and it is also work as a cute hairband i just use a biosip to cover up the point where i sewed the design to the hat so next thing i'm going to be doing is to cover all the loopholes with this pretty brooch right here now that i have covered it with the brooch this is what it looks like and it's very beautiful i hope you think so too okay, i'm done what else are you waiting for so thanks so much for staying with me thanks so much for sticking around i am grateful replicate the style and tag me on instagram or find a way to reach me that you did it kindly subscribe to my channel like this video and let me know your thoughts in the comment section bye